What's going on guys? This is Empty Box, and this is iRacing GT Challenge here from Zandvoort. Uh, racing the Corvette C6R GT1 with the McLaren GT3s as well as the Ford GTs. The usual story here in this series anymore. Five Corvettes, a bunch of McLarens, as well as four Ford GTs, I do believe. This race did split, so there's only 21 cars on track. Zandvoort has the smallest grid spacing uh, within the iRacing service, so it's a 21 car field. So it's a fairly small field, but this track is action packed. That said, I do certainly enjoy this circuit. Now, one thing that you might notice, or might not, depending on how this works out, is pedal cam coming at you live! Uh, we'll see how that works out, but I'm trying to set up some uh, foot recording. I am using Club Sport version 2 pedals with the Derek Spear Designs uh, Tilton Club Sport pedal pedal pads. Totally botched through that sentence, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, that's why I'm wearing white socks to give it a little contrast because my pedals are basically all black. Uh, so that way you can actually see what's going on down there. So hopefully that works out. If not, uh, that will totally make no sense at all. But anyways. The guy next to me starting in third, he qualified at the exact same speed as I did, uh, 33.910. However, just a little secret, I uh, qualified on full fuel with my race setup because I don't like qualifying with a qualifying setup because uh, that's usually a good way to go backwards. I don't like going backwards. So let's uh, get the show on the road here with this very slow pace lap. But I think we're ready to go green. I am using motion cockpit view, which is why things might look a little bit different. Uh, I've been working on some settings to get myself comfortable in the cars and make it feel uh, hey, warmer. Uh, man. You motherfucker, you really screwed me right there. Fuck you. Naughty, naughty, naughty! Okay, my goal this week is to really just settle into a groove because not to go into too many details, I've been feeling absolutely terrible this entire week, so I haven't had that much practice. And that said, I am fairly familiar with the circuits because I've been racing on it uh, several times and I do like this place, but. Whenever I don't have a lot of practice, I always kind of feel unsafe. So if anything, if I can stick with these guys early on in the race, I don't like where I am later on down the road. It's also worth noting that the guy in front of me didn't qualify, so he very well could be a very fast guy. He does look to be all over the back end of the guy in front of him. Okay, I feel like something's changed in my car. It's just 
slight blink from the guy in front, hopefully not an issue. There's really nowhere to pass through this section. This is probably one of the most difficult places to pass within iRacing. got the line. Okay, now we just need to focus on holding it. Now if you're watching the foot cam, if that is available, like I said, not really sure if that's going to actually work out or not. You might notice my right foot is just blipping the throttle on downshifts. That is uh, because the C6R has a sequential gearbox. Uh, no clutch required or anything, just slam it on down a gear. I hate that corner. We could just remove that corner from this track. That'd be great. Here's a little sidebar fun fact for you. This is actually the first place I ever went negative in GPL rank. For anyone who remembers GPL rank out there. Those were the days. Used to be an Eagle driver myself. The Eagle was was easily my favorite car in that game. 
fact, it kind of sickens me that there's so many sims out there that are going to get the Lotus 49. Then again, yes, I am biased. You know, being American and such. Okay, I need to pick up the pace. I'm sucking off my my qualifying and practice time so I can do better. I am all over the place today. Oh man. staying even with the guy behind. Like we got some lap traffic coming up. Um, okay. Oh, 
look at this. Fifteen minutes in. See that corner right there, I'm just never sure what gear to take it in. Thank you, Woodhouse. See, third gear is a little bit easier to drive through there, but I think second gear is a little bit faster. The guy in front of me keeps dropping wheels coming into that corner. Something to keep in mind. And the guy behind the wheel here in this video, he's all over the place like a complete idiot.
Let's try second through here. Shit! I'm done. I'm done. You gotta be kidding me. I'm done. Well, that's that. The car is completely trashed. Never try second through there. Never try second through there. The steering is completely bent. I could tell. <laughs> I could tell when I tried to correct it. It's boop boop. Like driving a three wheel shopping cart. Oh, crap! Oh well, it happens. Them's the brakes. Fortunately, here at iRacing, I get to try a second race off camera and see how that goes. You know, maybe when I'm feeling a little bit better and not already sweating in a 20 minute long stint. That, that's pathetic, to be perfectly honest. But that's that. Next week, we get to go to Mossport, I believe, or Canadian Tire Motorsports Park as it is so called nowadays I do believe so uh, yeah let's let's go ahead and see if I can get my incident back here let's watch this and yes I am running the Captain America C6R scheme actually it comes from uh, Pano's Roadster back in the ALMS 2002 I believe they ran that scheme yeah Luck luckily I didn't hit that uh, other guy yeah the car is completely trashed <sighs> Terrible freaking race. Oh, well, that is a different ending than what you've seen before. So I guess that does make for a slightly different video and give you guys something different and unexpected. So I guess that's a good thing. I did that on purpose, guys. Aight, bye.